Hello guys, this is Celso. The goal of this video is to give you a quick overview of all OpenDSS official available resources like handouts, technical notes, the forum and codes. My OpenDSS installation folder is located at Program Files. If you are getting OpenDSS updates through SVN or Toys, you should see all these folders. However, if you have used the installation assistant, you should see only the folders available at this trib. In order to make this video applicable for both cases, let's consider the folder distrib as our starting point. As you can see, it has a folder called doc, where you can find dozens of PDF files, a folder called tech notes, and a folder called questions. In tech notes, again, there are a lot of PDF files. All these files contain tutorials about specific topics written in a direct manner. For example, if you want to learn how to define faults, you can just open this PDF and get all necessary information, including OpenDSS scripts. If you want to know how to reduce your circuit and which types of reduction are available in OpenDSS, you can read the document Reduce Options, and so on. We recommend you to take a look at these files to have an idea of what kind of information you can get from here. The other folder is called Questions. As the name suggests, in this folder you can find specific questions and the answer for them. In the doc folder itself, there are more extensive technical notes and they are summarized in the Help Links PDF. This PDF contains a table divided in sections, in which each line has the name of the file, a general description and a button to open the respective file. These buttons only work if you are using a PDF viewer that supports JavaScript like Adobe Reader, Acrobat, Foxit and PDF Exchange. If you do not have a PDF viewer with this feature, you can simply search and open these files in the doc folder or you can access a HTM version of the help links through help menu in OpenSS standalone version. This button has been made available in version 7.6 Point five point thirty seven. The first section is the general section. If you are a beginner user, that's where you should spend your first hours with OpenDSS. In Introduction to OpenDSS, you can find some quick information about the program, such as its main features, how it has been used, its structure, its history. In Getting Started, you can learn how to download OpenDSS, how to use SVN or Toys to get updates, its main files, how to register the con server if you want to use con interface, how you can access the source code, and so on. One of the most important PDF for new users is the OpenDSS Primer. It is available in different languages, as you can see. It is very useful because it presents a general explanation of the software, not as in-depth as the manual but it is the perfect resource to start coding and to run your first simulations. It includes a list of its solution modes, a history, and its circuit model. The elements available in the software are organized and classified. There is also a section that describes the GUI available in the standalone version, the main concepts of OpenDSS scripting language, and a full example in OpenDSS script. It also shows the benefits of using con interface to perform complex simulations and explains some key concepts and interfaces. Finally, it presents some codes in Microsoft VBA, MATLAB, and Python. The next document is the OpenDSS manual. It contains an extensive documentation about the software. I do not recommend you to start with the manual. It can be a very exhausting reading. I recommend you to take a look at its summary to have an idea about what you can find on it and whenever you need it, just go straight to a specific section. An important information about it is that it also contains some code examples at the end. The next button redirects to open the access forum. The forum is constantly viewed by Mr. Dugan and Davis Montenegro, OpenDSS developers. Whenever you have any issue or want to get a hint on a specific topic or other questions related to the software, you are encouraged to post on it 
and the OpenSS developers or other OpenSS users will answer them as soon as possible. Keep in mind that finding a solution for an issue becomes easier as more information is provided. However, before posting a forum, you should make sure that your questions has not been answered yet, either in one of the PDF technical notes in OpenSS installation folder or in the forum itself. In the second case, you can use the search tool. The last document in the general section is the best of forum. As its name suggests, the best discussions of the forum have been selected by Mr. Dugan. They are separate in two PDF documents. Each question includes a title, the original question, and the answer or answers. The second section contains the document related to con interface and direct DLL. The third one contains documents about modeling. For example, the PV system element in described in this document here. The next section has three documents that explain how some OpenSES built-in algorithms work. These algorithms are load allocation, dynamics mode, and fault study mode. The first document explains how OpenSES can be used for state estimation. The fifth section focuses on control elements such as inverters, reclosers, and switches, which are not in the scope of this tutorial. Finally, section number six contains important documents if you want to customize your script. For example, you could create a DLL to change the cap controller element behavior as you wish, or you could define a new control element by using the control interface. Back to the distrib folder, there are also three other important folders. The first one is examples. In this folder, you can find a bunch of different codes. For example, codes in C Sharp, Excel VBA, load shapes examples, examples from the manual in MATLAB, and from Stevenson's book. The second folder is the APRI test circuits. This folder contains three circuits, circuit 5, 7, and 24, which have been made publicly available by APRI. In the README file, you can check general information about these three circuits. We will use circuit 5 in some of our tutorial videos. Finally, in the IEEE test cases, you can find most of IEEE distribution test feeders, including the 13, 30, 34, 37, 123, and 8500 buses.